Hey, what's going on? So this is video eight. We're gonna be installing Kaldi Linux. We're gonna be doing this a little different. We're not gonna be doing this from an ISO file. We actually downloaded the VirtualBox image, the pre-built image, which is a lot easier. So we can just import this. So yeah, so let me go ahead and open up my VirtualBox and I put it in dark mode just because I like it. And if you wanna do that as well, you can go to file preferences interface and then put dark just in case you want to do that as well. I just like it's better for my eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to machine and hit add. My, it's not in my virtual machines, which I should put it there, but that's fine. I put it in software and Cali 2023. So I downloaded the latest and greatest one because I did have 2022, but I want it to be on the greatest, latest and greatest with you folks. Okay, so you're gonna see this uh, .vbox file. We select that, hit open. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and just, I wanna rename this. So let's go ahead and go to settings really quick. And I'm just gonna name this Cali-2023-VM, okay? And all the other stuff, I'll, I'll, uh, I have to update it. We're gonna update it, make sure everything is good to go. And then what we'll do is change the interface to host only. Remember, because we want to be able to com communicate with our uh, our server, our sensor, and our web server. So, yeah. So let's just wait till this is booted up, and we'll give this a few moments to cook. All right. Here we go. So now we can just log in as Cali Cali, and that's pretty much what we have going on here. What I can do is I can make this full screen just so it's a little easier. I like it full screen since this is the only thing that we're working on right now. So we can open up a terminal. And if we do if config, make this larger, if config, we can see that we're on the 10.0.2.15, which is the default NAT IP address for VirtualBox. Okay, so let's just do sudo su Kali. So what I want to do is just do apt install, uh, apt update, and just make sure everything is up to date. And what you can also do, this is brand new. I just downloaded this literally 10 minutes ago. So hopefully this is all up to date, but if not, we can do the upgrade and I'll show you as that doing its thing. Let's go ahead and, all right. We can just cat, we can do Etsy, OS dash release. And you can see this is version 2023.1. So we are on the latest and greatest. All right, so what we can do now, we can do upgrade dash Y, so we don't have to keep hitting yes. And we can let this do its thing. Once this is done, there was another thing that I wanted to show you guys as well. On the virtual machines, you can actually create snapshots. So say for example, you wanna revert back and all that stuff so you can save, you know, you can move different groups, you can create groups, we can do so many cool things within your VMs. And uh, obviously in VMware, it's a lot easier, it's just there. Um, but yeah, everyone likes free 99. So that's why I wanted to go with VirtualBox so everyone can play and everyone can learn, okay? So while this is going, we'll give this a moment to cook. And in the meantime, we can change some of the desktop settings and we can look at, for example, purple. This is not purple, but this is a pretty cool background. There's a lot going on, but it's pretty cool. What about this one? I actually like that. I don't know if you guys like it, but I like that. That's pretty cool. And I like that it's black and it's just like, it's just easy on the eyes. So as you can see here, obviously this is not a Kali course, but you know, learn how to use Kali. You know, you can see how much memory. Um, I think there's what four gigs. I don't even know how many gigs are associated with the. So it's only two gigs, so that's that's why this is going to be a killer. But we can obviously allocate more RAM once it's uh once this is done. So. We'll let this do its thing, and then we'll uh, resume right when it's done. All right, so that's done. So now we can just do Control L, 
And yeah, so pretty much we updated it. So now if we do if config again, I'll show you. So we have 10.0.2.15. So what I want to do is go to settings, machine settings, and I want to go ahead and go to network, host only. Okay. It's going to disconnect and reconnect. Sometimes we have to bring it down and back up. But let's see. No, we didn't have to do that here. So we are at 192.168.100.102. Okay, so now we're at the point that we can start configuring the server, start doing more stuff. So we're gonna be working from this machine and accessing all the other boxes. So stay tuned. Hopefully you find this video informative. And until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you.